Good evening and welcome to another Pilberg dev stream on a Tuesday, 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 Sean. Hi. Uh, thanks for being with us tonight and thanks, Sean, for being with us tonight, despite basically dying. Is that is that fair to say, Sean? Um, no. No, it's not fair I to say. I have a chest infection. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, but not okay. Okay. Well, we I'm will okay. do our best, uh, despite Sean's continued... Uh, Poorliness, which which is you know we feel bad for you, dude. I feel like this is a good story arc. That <laughs> you know, I think I was ill on the first stream or maybe the third stream, and then yeah. we just continued with this. I think so. Yeah, like it's ongoing. I'm I'm assuming people are doing things like trying to fund your recovery and and that kind of stuff, uh, which yeah. they can of course do through our Patreon page. Let me just get yeah. that get that plug in nice and early on the stream. Um, so. As some of you may already be aware, if you've been following our social media stuff, this week is my choice of game, and uh, I've brought to the table, as it were, to use a board gaming term, uh, 80 Days. So that is, uh, for those of you who don't know, 80 Days is a 2014 indie uh, success, a big hit, I think it's probably fair to say, like in the indie sphere, um, and it is a narrative game by Inkle Studios. And uh, it follows uh, kind of the same trajectory a bit as the uh, very famous 80, Around the World in 80 Days uh, novel, which, which we'll get into in a mo. Don't worry if you haven't read it. It's, that's not a prerequisite of playing the game. Um, Sean, have you heard much about this game? Did, was this a game that was on um, your radar? So I, I think I may be... I've heard about it, yes. Um, mm -hmm. I think mainly through you when we first... Actually, I think it was one of the first games you brought up Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started talking about you coming on board. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So that was kind of the first time that I'd heard it. I th heard of it, I think. Okay. Um, I have heard people, like, people, I hear people keep mentioning it mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. in the kind of, like, offhand comment of, like, oh, like, you know, there's this game, 80 Days. Yeah. Um, but that's about it. So. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. That's always nice when you don't know too much about, uh, you know, it's not quite the big reveal that Time Warpers was. Uh, for me last uh, last time we did one of these games but um, so you know a little bit about it and you've given, mm -hmm. I've given you my intro as well um, so just just to get things uh, like clear for the evening I suppose um, uh, firstly that I'm wearing a Christmas jumper um, because it is it is Christmas time um, and also Sean it is our last stream before Christmas because we're going to take a week off aren't we Yes. Um, aren't we, Sean? Yes. 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 Good. Yeah. Okay, great. Got that covered. Um, but also that tonight's stream might be a bit different um, just because uh, the nature of this game. So I am going to do my <laughs> best, my my autorial best to uh, actually read all the sections of this game. Um, I was tempted to do accents, but that is definitely not my strong suit. I think you should um, do accents. <sighs> But it's tough. The problem, the, the thing I find with accents that makes it very, very difficult for me is maintaining them. You know, mm -hmm. I can like do a few like lines and stuff in a, in a, in an accent. Um, but uh, I think I will wobble all over the place, end up, you know, going from Australia to South Africa up to, you know, Cockney, London and, and just it'd be a disaster. So I'm not I'm not going to do that, Sean. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to do my best to make the text reading experience um hopefully dramatic exciting and all those kinds of things because uh i kind of do that a little bit in my day job but also i think this is a game that will benefit from that um mm -hmm. i hope uh i've watched a few other people play this game on streams and on video reviews and content and stuff and what tends to be the case is that they rush through the text when they're reading it um and i i can get that like it's not necessarily what people want um, this isn't story, you know, story time with Dave, although it might turn a bit into that. Um, but at the same time, I think if you rush this, if you rush the story bits on this, like, why are you even playing this game, right? Like, this, mm -hmm. I don't think you'll, as you'll see, like, there's there is a lot of game here, but I think actually the story is really what drives it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, with that in mind and that established, I uh, we are in London. 1872. I have entered into the service of a gentleman. It would seem 
He is a gambling man. It's a nice globe, isn't it? So, so this is you just launch the game into. I it. just launched the game into this. This is like the start. This is you get. It's an interesting intro, like of the <laughs> credits. Yeah. Okay, but also look what's going on in the background. Get a sense of the music. Title screen, very nice. Are you going around the world? It might be, just in case you didn't get that. Based on the novel by Jules Verne. And then. Ooh, look how seamless that is. That's very. I think that's very nice. I mean, that's. So we got uh, we got the world here. I can zoom in and zoom out. I can move my mouse around. Give me a sense of the globe, which I think is nicely rendered. Is that fair to mm -hmm. say? I think it's very pretty to look at. Um, so I'm gonna do what it tells me to do, which is click on London to begin with. Can you? So you have to click on London then? Yeah, yeah, because that's that's the starting point of the game, right? That's where you start. I think yeah. you can then you can then zoom out, like so. I can, like, if I click on here, nothing happens. I can zo it zooms me in a bit, but yeah, yeah. I have to click on London. So, and then you get this nice kind of art style. You get a menu, settings menu, and you can take a screenshot, which is nice. A nice little early functionality there. So uh, I'm going to click on. It's begin. interesting to have, have that as a button then. Yeah, well, I mean, it encourages any player. Okay, Monsieur Phileas Fogg returned home early from the Reform Club and in a newfangled steam carriage. Besides, I helped him down. So anytime you see this, like, dot, 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 uh, and you might have noticed as well, it's flashing kind of blue and yellow-ish. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I think actually yellow is when you cover the my mouse over it. Um, that's just, like... It's just right. It's just a, a heads up to click, and I think we'll get decision points as well at that yeah. at that way. So it's just, I guess, it's the way of the game kind of controlling the pace of things, I suppose, to an extent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I helped him down, and the iron lung, steam-driven horses clattered away. Pars patu, he said. Said he. See now, <laughs> see that like pars patu is not Scottish. I don't know why I went there. It's French. Pars patu would make what, more sense. Uh, no, I don't. It looks like passport, right? But it's clearly not. It's. I mean, the point is, it's this guy's. It's your name, right? It's the the name of Phileas Fogg's, Phileas Fogg's valet. Okay. Pars Patu. Why I'm going Scottish again? This is why I don't do access accents even. Scottish is okay. Just go with go with what comes naturally. <laughs> Pars Patu said he. We are going around the world, around the world, Monsieur, or very good, Monsieur. So, what do you think? <coughs> this is the first decision point. Um, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you, you take this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean is too incapacitated to decide. So, I'm going to say very good, because I think that would be very good. That would be exciting. Um, so, we're going to do that. Yeah, the first one sounds like it's a question, but there's no question mark. Or was there a question mark? Uh, there was a question mark, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. right. Okay. Very good, monsieur. I murmured dutifully. I oh, see that well, that wasn't how I anticipated that, but uh, not believing a word of it, we shall circumnavigate the globe within eighty days. He was quite calm as he proposed this wild scheme. We leave for Paris on the eight twenty-five in an hour. Okay, so now we have, but of course, as an option, or that was quite a departure. Oh, this um, was quite a departure. So. So I guess the but of course is going to extend the conversation, whereas this is quite a departure. Is like you're not that's not you talking, right? No, you're right. Yes, good point. So this is this is a bit of dialogue here, as you can see by the speech marks. Um, yeah. So the second option is not. So that's interesting. We're worth bearing in mind. Um, so I'm going to go with but of course. Keep this conversation going. But of course, I answered, still extremely suspicious. He nodded. Good. Pack an altimeter, 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 uh, and Ultimate. my Ultimate. altimeter. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, one of those. Pack one of those, and my evening jacket. There is not a moment to waste. You, Paspatu, now have funds. Your character is now dependable. Okay, so okay. as you can see, we're getting character traits, and we have some money. So For when did those? So 
the foreground it says foreground at the top now yeah has and that we... ui just appeared yes it has yeah and and the guy in the top, bottom right yeah he's he's popped along now okay right i believe okay. that's us uh okay. that's us pass pass do or it might be phileas uh there's going to be a moment where we can tell i think okay. um so whenever you see these you just click that along and then we get a new route oh yeah okay so that's definitely phileas so he says right so you could see like the clock is ticking right mm -hmm. holy crap that's so we have to pack we have to pack quick right oh okay. shit the, the, sorry <laughs> I mean, um, oh it, it's going at real time yeah 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 like it well yeah no it's going a minute a second yeah so, right that's so these are our, but don't panic okay because that that uh, doesn't work right okay so yeah, if you really if you are if you are speed running this this is that's different but you know we're not speed running it okay i'm reading all the stuff for a start um but i believe oh okay so is it stopped at eight or oh, might have done okay did it stop? i think it did stop yeah Ooh. oh what have i done there okay what did you pick? uh no that's... i didn't i didn't i didn't i just uh, i actually scrolled on my mouse so it stopped at eight so presumably that's interesting because then you could potentially like do it very quickly if you are a speed runner um but if you're not so much like you could yeah. just you're not pun overly punished for you know go and make a cup of tea at this point yeah okay Good evening lone wolf uh hello um so he said pack my evening jacket and my pocket altimeter altimeter altometer you 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 do the math okay so but with, this is our suitcase right this is our inventory system for the mm -hmm. game uh and we already have two-thirds of the englishman's wardrobe wool trousers and wool shirt very stylish what's the third that's missing the so jacket. the evening jacket so if we pop that down here and pack it so uh, okay go. right sorry there's a there's some stuff going on so i'm gonna, uh -huh. I'm gonna quiz you yeah so if you've got a limited amount of stuff now you can pack yes is that what okay yeah so the the you can see kind of roughly the um the suitcase can hold on top of the existing items in there three it's double like items resident evil style inventory exactly system, yeah right? it's a basic inventory system yeah that you know and love so uh I love. I don't, like this <laughs> <laughs> no one you know you know you know this um at least so, this one didn't doesn't don't make doesn't make you do like a tetris type puzzle no but some people like love inventory puzzles that's like a whole game to them <laughs> uh, so there's obviously some decisions here because we can't get everything in right so let's see the, the, each item does give you a description of what they do um so the yellow is kind of the yellow text if you can read that on your stream is kind of more of the game text and the top is a bit more of the kind of flavor text again interesting for this particular kind of game, the, the flavor text comes first. Right. Because it's a story game, right? Like, so, yeah, okay, you need to know what each item does, but really it's more about the story. So that that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the wax cylinder is valuable in three different European cities, Vienna, Paris, and Copenhagen. So yeah. that's, like, money, right? Like, so that's, that's just basically money, money, money. Yeah european shipping timetable routes for ships in europe will be visible on the globe okay yeah mm -hmm. uh the pocket altometer altimeter we need to figure that out if i'm going to pack it um is high uh, meter is fine is the <laughs> yeah, high meter no. or, or a tape measure <laughs> tape. As we, we <laughs> pocket tape measure uh so that can be the that's part of the air traveler set so i'm guessing if you want to do a lot of air travel that would make sense and then playing cards, which is the interesting for us purely because it's a single item. So it takes up a single slot in the inventory. Uh, so it doesn't seem as efficient to pack it, but gives us more room. Is interest uh, to humorous stalwart official and soldier types of people. So... Of interest. So does that yeah. mean... So I don't know. Yeah. But then you don't know what that means, right? At this no. point, we don't know what that means. No. So. Um, well, I think we should take the out. out the, the, the high thing that we can talk about. The high thing. About. Yeah. Because, like, they said that in the story. Uh -huh. Or yeah, we don't take it because they said it in the story. Well, we've taken the evening jacket and he mentioned that. So. there's a, Oh, it's interesting. It says one of two owned. So I think we. We've already we, got one. 
Yeah, well, no, it, it, it counts as one, so we just What's need one, one more. one of the two? Okay, I see. There's yeah. one other thing we need yeah. to be able to travel in the air. So I think maybe then we take the wax cylinder and sell it when we get to Paris. And mm -hmm. then, you know, then we we'll free up some space in our inventory. Yeah. Okay, cool, done. I love this. There was just a moment, and we've taken like five minutes to discuss the game development, <laughs> like choices here. So yeah, we we've lost a little bit of that sense of uh, hurry up. But so if I click this, that's fine, right? Uh, yep, yeah, our complete Englishman's wardrobe should help us negotiate times of upper class journeys. That's kind of the equivalent of um, she will remember this. Yeah. From the um, Telltale games, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. What and it also, like, obviously, like, we, yeah. I know we're gonna gonna progress slowly, keep asking these questions, but that's kind no, of no, no, that's what the whole we're point. Do. So yeah. this, uh, this, like that, saying that, telling you, like, I turned off those things in um, the Telltale games. They'll say like, oh, such and such will remember that you did that. Yeah. I turn that stuff off. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but like, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? I think I. I mean, I think earlier, especially in a game, it's fair enough. I. I. I like the idea, like you said, of giving players the option of turning that off. Um, but I think actually, uh, it's about player feedback, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. and and giving the player the sense that their decisions make a difference and they matter. I think like there are games that that you don't want necessarily to make that such an obvious process, but. Yeah. You know, like you're early in the game, you're not really sure what's going on. You've just packed a, a dinner jacket, for for Christ's sake. Like I don't, I, I'd like to know that that decision is going to be important and actually matter. Yeah. Um. So I don't mind it too much. Anyway, we're off. We're off. Okay, we're off to Paris. Okay, so we're going through the Amphitrite Express to Paris. So I click on Paris. Uh, I have to click embark. There we go. So it is departing now. There's one suitcase, space for one suitcase, which is just as well. And uh, this will be a bearable route, which makes me wonder there might be some unbearable routes ahead. So you're taking a train to Paris. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but look at this train. It's not really That's a train. That's not a train. Like a, it, it, no. Uh, but we will. Steampunk, like. Yeah, a mechanical horse. So, uh, here we go. The mechanical horses race past Piccadilly Circus and Pall Mall faster than a team of thoroughbreds. Even so, the whistle of the 825 was blowing as we pulled up to Charing Cross Station. Okay, so, we have no tickets, I exclaimed. We raced along the concourse and threw ourselves aboard. Oh, we just threw ourselves aboard. Come just, on. just get in on with it. Yeah. And, like, Pass pas two. His, his valet, his faithful valet. Right. We waste a we waste we raced along the concourse and threw ourselves aboard as the second whistle shrieked its warning. We barely had time to take our seats before the guard rapped smartly on the compartment door. He held out a hand. Tickets, please. Right. And then we got another option. What do you think? I think we pretended to lo lose them. Ooh, a chance. I think we could. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Like, I mean, I think our character's a bit. You know, sneaky. And you, oh, okay. So you've already we, tried we, to sneak we're gonna, on We're going to go renegade, I think, if, if, if that's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised about you, Sean, at all. That's all right. I don't. When I put on my own, I always do the opposite. But uh huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I pretended to have lost them, patting down one pocket and then the other, and was about to start digging through our suitcases when Monsieur Fogg interrupted my touching performance. My valet is trying to express that we were in too much haste to purchase tickets, he said. Now, is he trying to chasten Ooh. me, which was not all my meaning? Or I this tried to alter my mind? Which was not all my... Hmm. Hmm. Now, are you, are you the kind of person that, even when caught, tries to... Uh, tries to f rescue the situation or do you well, double no, down if, on if the there's line? something that I've learnt in life it's that when you get caught in a lie that the way out of it is to just continue lying <laughs> all the way down and to and just uh, to make the most complicated <laughs> web of lies okay all right so what the altering the mime right yeah That's, I think so yeah he said and I tried to alter my mime to fit his interpretation I had mixed success 
but I did locate two five pound notes under one of the seat cushions when I began using it for a shield. Ah, <laughs> uh, what on earth was he doing that for? Anyway, that's that's on you. Uh, you may purchase them from me, the guard was saying, though it is more expensive, I'm afraid. Eighty five pounds, please. Now, so you've doubled down on your lie. You've used a suitcase thing as a shield, and actually, we've got ten pounds because of your performance. So, um, well, well done. We, so, okay, so, excellent. So, so, so do we? So uh, therefore, the lesson learned. <laughs> so, what you want to duck out? You want to, you know, eject from the lie and just give him the money? Um, no, I think we can argue. You want to argue? Okay. This is so against the grain. I mean, I'm just imagining my myself in this situation, and I would have not argued with him. But um, so, uh, Lone Wolf has said great advice. I just want to make it clear that I will not. I am not. Will be held liable for any <laughs> advice that you take based on this stream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sean told me to do it. That's uh, not not going to hold up as a defence. Right. So you're not. We're arguing with him. Ooh, bad news. I argued with him, but it only displeased Monsieur Fogg further. Pass for two. You will pay the sum at once, he put in coldly, and remunerate this man for his patience. Ooh, now. So we were ten up because of your mime, but now we might be fifteen down if we actually do what Fogg wants us to do. Ooh, no, but Fogg hasn't given us... No, he didn't say that, he just said pay the sum, which is 85. Yeah, no, but he said remunerate this man for his patience, i.e. give him some extra, because you you've been rude um so well, I, I i obviously was confused by that so yeah so, so you're just gonna not you're just gonna ignore fog so i have a feeling our like relationship with phileas fog is represented in the bottom right here oh okay that's what that is yeah i think so so if that gets to zero is that game over you get kicked Ooh, out I, goes. I i don't know that but i'm assuming it's bad um uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna give him the hundred. <clears throat> I gave him a, the man a hundred and added a word or two of advice about allowing a little leniency to gentlemen in their hours of need. The guard gave me our tickets and slid the compartment door shut behind him with a pneumatic hiss. Okay, your yeah, funds have gone down a, by a fair amount. Yeah, well, I'm, anything. We're up ten, down a hundred. And the cost was 85. So as far as I'm concerned, we've only lost five, five pounds for that. Mm -hmm. And your relationship with Fog has deteriorated slightly. So let's see if that changes now when I move that. Yeah. Um, hmm. For people who are watching in chat, feel free to uh, suggest options to us. Yes. Tell us what you want us to do. If if you if you have a different opinion on the same thing as us. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. Is this is this kind of like a Phileas Fog Tamagotchi? <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, so we missed an opportunity to converse with him there, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so yes, it's not a bad way of looking at it. Um, London smog gave way to rolling hills and the pastures of Kentish countryside, still untouched by the hand of technological advancement. Uh, right, so we get an option here of um, letting Monsieur Fogg read his paper. Demanding to know the purpose of the journey or pass the day in silence. We have a vote for demand. Demand, okay. I demanded to know the purpose of our journey. You see, Passepartout, he said, said he. I'm so used to reading said he said, said he. I have made a wager that we can circumnavigate the globe in no more than 80 days. <laughs> Not 81? <laughs> no more. But also no less, I imagine. Yeah, I, I, would, I, I think I'd have said not 79 rather than not, not 81. Uh, for the choice of not 81. I think our character is going to want to know how much money's involved. That's very true. Okay. Okay. Yeah, how, large, over it. how large a wager, I asked him with trepidation. £20,000, my master. Oh, that's actually not coolly. Right? £20,000, my master replied coolly. £20,000, I repeated in a strangled tone. Oh, God, I've got to read the, read the... This is a good lesson to anyone who's interested in reading text aloud for any kind of audio book or any just giving a reading. Read the uh, speech tag 
first, if you can, just scan down to it and then read the dialogue, because otherwise you're going to get a speech into... tag. So okay, so a speech tag is um, any time you have some dialogue here. This is something my students would know all about. Uh, and dialogue here. Um, so how large a wager? I asked. Is a speech tag. Mm -hmm. So replied is a speech tag. Repeated is a speech tag. And these give you some sense of in this kind of writing anyway how the dialogue was uh, said. Okay. So what that should really read as now that I've read this the speech tags it should go something like how large a wager I asked with trepidation twenty thousand pounds my master replied coolly twenty thousand pounds I repeated in a strangled tone a strangled tone is actually quite difficult to do if you're not literally kind of feeling strangled by that that's a that's more of yeah. an actor skill there we go but I could probably do that with my current throat condition <laughs> yes I should have got you to read that that would have worked um, he turned back to his paper, perhaps overtaxed by the grueling duration of our conversation. Okay. The guy's a bit sarky, isn't he? Bless him. Yeah. Uh, a guard rapped on our door a few miles before Dover. We are about to submerge, he warned. Take some people a bit funny, so watch out. What do you mean, submerge? Okay, like it. That literally came in my head. Yeah. What do you mean, submerge? I cried. This is the London to Paris Amphorite Express, he explained, as though to a particularly dim-witted child, Sean. The submersible train? Talk of all the London papers? <laughs> this is the, the Mer train. <laughs> uh, yeah, then this is the Mer train, I exclaimed. He made a face. Bloody journalists and their silly names, he muttered. Every inch of her has been examined and stamped by the artifice, with the artificer's seal. This is the world's only bath escape locomotive. Are you, are you shivering yet? Is this a shiver um, moment? I'm pushing her face up against the window. You're right up against the window. Yeah. Well, this character. Okay, we, we're done. Sorry. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. He got to got to be on it. He's a he's a character that makes decisions fast. I press my face to the window glass as the fins above the amphitrites wheels extended with a hydraulic hiss night fell and we plunged past the end of the track into the freezing water of the english channel <coughs> passepartout has a coughing fit yeah Ooh. i feel like the, uh, the way we're playing this character he would ask how you know when can i open the window underwater <laughs> Yeah, we're not, we are not punching the window. Uh, the amphithrite ploughed through the water overnight and splashed up onto the water. Sorry, the wider gauge French tracks at Calais as dawn broke. Lovely little note there about for all you train enthusiasts. Apparently, French trains have wider gauges. Than and I, yeah, English I was about to say, like, how does that even work if they're wider gauge? How, how does that? Obviously, does that... I mean, as well as being able to go underwater, this steampunk train can move from you know narrow gauge to wide gauge uh, train tracks mm. i mean we are living in a steampunk world here people uh right so does he have a route in mind do we want to know that or do we want to consider what we might require for our journey um well i suppose if we ask him the route then we'll have a better idea of what stuff to take with us good call okay do you have a route in mind, monsieur? I asked as the water of the channel dried from the compartment windows. I am as yet undecided, my master admitted. The new canal has sped up the shipping route from Suez to Bombay, though perhaps we could take the Trans-Siberian Railway across Russia. Mm. How are we feeling? Trains, boats, boats, trains. The new canal. Hmm. I'm, I, I think the canal. You like the canal? So I then, mean, would we say surely not Siberia? Yes. What, what were you going to say? No, I'm with you. Train. I mean, I much prefer warmer climates than uh, cold ones. So, mm -hmm. I'd surely be on top of the water than under it. Nice, like it. Yeah, yeah. This seems a bit safer. Surely not Siberia! I exclaimed. It is so cold and grim, and I have a particular fear of bears. Then we would do well to buy furs, he replied, refraining from rolling his eyes. Interesting. How can you refrain from... Anyway. Uh, there are other alternatives. We may also travel over land and across the Black and Caspian Seas. 
or now here's a character defining moment if i ever yeah, saw now, so i think in my mind our guy is kind of a bit slimy he's already tried to kind of lie his way out of a situation yeah. he definitely wants the safest he de he, oh okay interesting yeah okay but which is safest monsieur fog raised an eyebrow there's no i did that on stream just in case you didn't know there is no place in the world which is not safe for an Englishman, he said coolly and with great f finality. Parbleu, I scarcely knew what to think. Okay, we arrived in Paris Gare de Nord. Again, with the Scottish. Just after one o'clock, automaton porters lifted our luggage and then our persons onto the platform with long, delicately filigreed iron arms. Paris, city of my heart. I was home but not to stay this has given me a um like choose your own adventure book vibe yes very much so so this um, these these are the routes we are discovering yeah do you want to explain what that is to people in the chat who might not be old enough to know what that is well choose your own they still yeah, have choose no. your own adventure stuff do they yeah yeah we they're still they they're still a thing yeah they are I mean, they might not be like so. You might remember the like the fighting fantasy ones, right? Which again are still available. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of the ones where it's like, go to page like, you walk into a like a hut in the middle of a snow. Oh, clock's ticking. Just in case it matters. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, we can sell stuff here. Okay. Good. People remember them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So, I can sell a wax cylinder for four seventy. Now what? I don't know is if that's going to fetch more elsewhere. I think that was supposed to be good in Paris, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, so it's so it's Vienna, like I'm not, Vienna, Copenhagen here and in Vienna, Copenhagen and Venice. So the question is does it get more valuable the further you take it away, but we're wasting time so I'm going to sell it. So okay. that's so uh, and then I want an extra suitcase. Does that sound good? An extra suitcase. Yeah, so for ten, um, well, ten pounds. Not much room left. Yeah. So let's buy an extra suitcase. Or do I just drag something into it? I guess uh, you drag something into it, right? So we. Ooh. So this is thirty. Ooh. Wow. So you can flip this. This costs us thirty-two quid, but only worth a lot in Ver Berlin. Are we going to be going to Berlin? Let's have a look. Berlin's up here, so no, oh, right? Man. Like, cause we're the I we're planning to go down Suez, through Suez even, rather than the Moscow route. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we haven't unlocked any routes yet. Uh, well, we're gonna go to like the question. We're obviously going this way, like right. So we're not going. It's worth pointing out. You could go a different route. You could go down to Lisbon, and then like west across the states and right. then back over the pacific or you can go like down here through the sewers over to bombay over around to kind of manila so, and across the pacific god knows how we get across because we had that conversation yeah so like when we when we zoomed out before we had no i like you could just see the dots mm -hmm. you didn't realize that there was a, a route along here across yep. the Trans-Siberian or down through the sewers and along to India. Um, yep. So, like, the question... The, we don't have to not go to the through Berlin just because we had that one conversation. But if we want to go to Berlin up and through to Moscow, like, there's not much point going to Berlin if we want to go through the sewers. I think it would be yeah. quicker. Mm -hmm. So we're still sticking to that sewers? I, I'm... Yeah. Oh shit! I can't. I can't. We can't go back to the market. Oh no! So this is another. This is some way that it does punish you for doing what I just did, because uh, it's eight p.m. Oh. The markets open at seven a.m. and the bank right. opens at ten a.m. Right. So that we're gonna need to get a hotel room. But then, oh. I know. We took a hotel for the night. We'll be comfortable here, Monsieur Fogg remarked. But travelling overnight will often be more efficient. So I said, so, yeah, go on. What? I don't understand the longest journey thing. 
So I guess like in terms of being more efficient, you do the longest journey, you have fewer nights when you're not traveling and having to pay for um, hotels. hotels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so we'll just say where possible. We cannot travel where it, it is not possible, certainly, he replied. Still, the surrounds of the Hotel Ritz were most enjoyable. La -di -da. Okay, so uh, we need to go back to the market because I kind of fluffed that a bit. Um, and then the question of whether or not we go to the bank or we explore, which will add four hours. I think we've already wasted a day, right? I think we should yeah. just get, get that wine. Get the wine. Oh, no, you want to go to... We uh, no, well, we said we were going to travel. Yeah. We were going to go down uh, through... <laughs> So there's valeting, traveling cloak as part of the gentleman traveler set. Okay. Don't know if we want the, do we want the gentleman traveler set? I, I have no idea. No. Like I feel okay. like, do we want to shave? Uh, but that's four pounds per hundred days, I think. My PhD was kind of in geometry. I think we should get the geometry kit. Yeah, geometry. I think so too, because that's Budapest, Warsaw. We're probably more likely to go down that way. Okay. Okay. And then I think we are gentlemen travellers, but I hate shaving, so that's that. Okay, right. Uh, Let's go. Before, like, right. The precious seconds. Like, so we're going to need to go for the saving saving set. Sorry. Uh, we need to go to Copenhagen, Warsaw, or Budapest. So, Warsaw, um, Budapest. Where's Copenhagen? Uh, yeah, both oh, well, David and I are lecturers. So we well, so, okay, so we definitely have to go to... Well, we're going to Zurich, and then we're going to Budapest. And then... But how do we get So here? how are you knowing which ones you can go to here? Oh, I don't know. I thought I could ex just depart. Have we not discovered a route? Have we got to explore and find, like... Oh, you might be right. Okay. Yeah, the train station. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Exploring. Added four hours. There we go. New right. New routes discovered. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. We had a few hours to spare. I asked Monsieur Fogg if I might enjoy my city b before we had to leave. Indeed, and you should learn anything of note. Be sure to relay it. I nodded and headed into town. The talk of the streets was of one thing only, an enormous, elegant oval stadium constructed upon the green fields of the Champ de Mars and containing the technological marvels, art, amusement parks, and milling crowds of the World's Fair of 1872. Hmm. Mm. Um, we, we kind of... I think we need to get going, right? We've wasted time before, so... Okay, so... Thousand. Yeah, did not... Did not visiting fairs? Right, okay. But I was certain Monsieur Fogg did not intend... For me to visit fair, so I enjoyed a brief cup of coffee and then returned to my master, armed with some options for the next leg of the journey. Well, we've improved slightly. I didn't notice it went down. Okay, Be back in a second. Okay, uh, so we can go to Amsterdam by car, Munich by train. Ooh, departure could be in again. We could go to Nice, but I need to sell this in Budapest. So we're going to Munich. Going to okay negotiate. Okay, so the Englishman's wardrobe's coming in handy here. Oh, but it departs it tomorrow. Uh, okay, it's fine. We're gonna continue. Most generous. No charge at six p.m. Hmm. Okay, but it would also require what? Okay. Don't tell me that, that we could have also sold that as Zurich. No. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so let's embark on this. Departing air. Okay. Oh, higher space. Okay, alright. Woof. It's a bit of a rush, isn't it? Gee whiz. Okay. Um, so I think we just managed that by half an hour. And... Uh, we had to pay for uh, our extra baggage, but I think that'll be worth it given all the things that we've bought since. Uh, here we go. Boarding the Orient Express was an altogether calmer affair than our race through London had been. I didn't think so. Uh, mechanical porters loaded us in through the windows, then snapped them shut with a delicate click. The train was very beautiful, was extremely fast. The train would be the first leg of a much longer journey. 
him back. Yo, I think he's going to complain that this train, the train would be the first leg of a much longer journey. However, so there was little use in growing too comfortable. Indeed, it could only take us as far as Vienna. A last long whistle blew and we began our journey east. So you missed, boy, did you miss lots of things. Um, what happened? Well, so uh, our gentleman's um, attire uh, actually, yeah. I think, got us reduced fare uh, mm -hmm. to Vienna, which is right. nice. Um, I'm about to, let's have a quick chat with, oh, greetings, monsieur. Can I help you at all, monsieur? I am the guard on this train. So we could ask George Mazard about Vienna, which would be nice. So I guess then are we going to know more about... We Roots. want to try and figure out where everything is, I guess. Is yeah. That's the idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we need to get to Budapest to sell this geometry set, I think. Mm -hmm. So Vienna to Budapest. Is it possible to go from Vienna to Budapest? Yes, one can travel in a private car from Vienna to Budapest, but the journey is a tiring one. Hmm. I don't know if I can get back to the map without. Okay, so I don't. I don't we're not going to need. To, no, we don't want to go to Venice. Uh, maybe Belgrade or to Odessa. Probably not Odessa. Hmm. I think we're done talking to George. My master wished to be undisturbed, so I mean, the one thing we could have done is just spam them, right, and just get all the information. But get everything, and that, there wasn't a cost of time there. No, I don't think so. Um, so can we, can we can we pause a second? Um, yes, because I feel like this is actually this moves quite quickly, mm. which I wasn't expecting. Um, like well, we talked before about maybe like oh yeah, there'd be a lot of time just to talk about the game, and and but it's been like. Yes, I mean you're oh, right. Wow. It's worth point. It's worth making a note of when the timer is going down on the day thing, which you might not be able to see as well as I can. But yeah, like at this point, like you could talk for as long as you want. But there was that point in the market where we were losing valuable. Like we only made this train by half an hour, in, an hour in game time because, like it it left at six, and like right. we only got there at half five. So. That's in this is super in i i think there's lots of really super interesting stuff going on here mm -hmm, way mm -hmm. more than i expected and mm -hmm. I, I guess i i was expecting it to just be a in the way that you described it to me mm. i was expecting it to just be this story part okay yeah yeah, yeah. like the idea of the actual balancing time mm -hmm. it's almost like a vibe of um oh dead what's the the zombie game on xbox dead Oh, I don't know. Not dead. Oh man, what's the? Oh, this is gonna it's gonna bug me. But there, there was a oh. zombie game. Mm -hmm. Go on. Um, were you a Frank? Frank? Someone? Are you not talking you about the talking? Walking Dead game? No, 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 no. You, you were, you were a. Um... Oh, God, I'm gonna have to Google it. Sorry, this is really unfun. Right. But, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. um, so it was. A, I think it was like a launch game Xbox Xbox 360 zombie game. Mm -hmm. Um, oh man. What was it called? Dead Rising. Dead Rising. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and that whole game was really interesting because it, it was so freaking weird. Like you, you, it was a time management game. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. Old, so like there was, but you had two days. So like the game starts, and within two days the game ends. So mm -hmm. two in-game days, mm -hmm. the game would end. And it was actually kind of a roguelike as well. Okay. Yeah. This yeah, was back yeah. in 2006, before like everyone described everything as rogue. <laughs> yes. Um. So it was about um. Like you would you would play a bit and kind of like discover things and figure out ah this boss appears at this time of day this guy appears at this time of day mm -hmm. you would die and then you would see how do I better manage my time so I can see everyone that I want to. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's and and that's really kind of. This is almost that distilled. Yeah. Or I suppose, like, yeah, was it Minute, that recent indie game that was, like, quite an extreme Minute. version of that? Yeah, Minute is yeah. the same. Yes, yeah, yeah Minute yeah. would be the same idea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sorry. I, like, no, no, no. It's in, it is an interesting element because, you know, it, it sounds ridiculous to <coughs> the obvious to state that a game called 80 Days, at, based on Around the World in 80 Days, is time-related. 
but it's it's how they've managed to do that uh, in various in different ways right like so yeah when you are in a city your time is you know is something you have a degree of control over but yeah. obviously you don't have a degree of control of how quickly the train's going so that is yeah. a static uh, variable as it were mm-hmm. Cool. Um, okay. Well, I think we should explore the train because there seems okay. to be definitely advantages to doing that. Yeah. Um, my master wished to be undisturbed, so we, as we left Paris, I left him and went to explore the train. There was a delightful dining car and an observation deck formed by the replacement of an entire compartment with an open glass cube. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to eat? Do you want to watch the scenery? Or. Um. Well, I think Not. we want to try and find someone to talk to and get roots. Okay. So that would be attending the dining car. Could be, yeah. So I attended the dining car and found a few groups of people talking quietly. I eavesdropped <laughs> shamelessly, sat with a young composer, Ooh. joined a pair of young Parisian ladies. They're all good. Yeah. Well, the middle one, not so much. You don't like young composers? Young? No, definitely not. Definitely um, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, eavesdropping. I think our guy sounds like an eavesdropper to me. Yeah, I think he's probably too spineless to sit with ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I eavesdropped shamelessly, overhearing a conversation between a young composer and two <laughs> Parisian ladies who, it transpired, were heading to the same concert in Vienna. Okay, so. I think we know what we're doing here. I continue to listen, curious for details about that city. My papa says it's very dangerous, remarked one girl, whose name I learned was Isabel Poitier. Poitier. He says the emperor is spoiling for war. Hmm, mm. interesting. Because, like, again, Mr. S- like he's spying this, he would surely run back and say, yeah, you know. Yeah. But then also, if we continue to listen. Okay, let's continue. More. I continue to listen to the youngsters, but their chatter turned to matters of hats. And though... I am a fan. I was interested. <laughs> uh, and though I was interested, the hour was late. So I re- it is 11 o'clock at night. So I returned to Monsieur Fogg, who, to my surprise, looked up from his paper at me. What did you learn? He inquired. Mm. We definitely can tell him, right? I told him of the rumblings of war from Vienna, but he seemed indifferent. I do not think war will break out by the day after tomorrow, he observed. So I think we will be safe. I have nothing more to say. Okay, so we're on on Munich to Vienna. At Vienna, uh, we should... Oh, I don't think we can... We arrived at Vienna in the early hours of the morning. The customs officials insisted on searching our bags for, of all things, artificing tools. Um, Query or refuse? I'm going to query. I queried the official... Foreigners are forbidden from making automata within the borders of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, he repeated with a bored expression. The sta- a strange state of affairs. But I was hardly an artificer. And so it mattered little. Yeah, that seems about right for our guy. The sun rose in the sky as we left the station, illuminating the wide, tree-lined avenues of Vienna in pale, welcoming light. Okay, so we're getting in at about 5 a.m. by the looks of it. Yeah. So market opens at 7, so we've got a little while to just... We can either explore or plan. Ooh, we, well, I suppose we could... We, we've got to wait the f- 5, 6, 7. Explore. Yeah, explore. Okay. There's also... He said... Fog also said there's no uh, thing to... No, nothing going today. So we've got a little while. We've got a day, basically. Clock stopped. It's worth knowing. Mm-hmm. I did not see a single flesh and blood soldier in Vienna, the city of music. My dear friends, the rumours are quite real. The Austro-Hungarian Empire's might is built upon its armies of mechanical men. Ooh. <laughs> Their Ooh. faces are here. <laughs> homogeneously? Yeah. Are they homogeneous? Yeah. Their pewter faces are homogeneously handsome, though some have fine horsehair moustaches attached to their upper lips and a subtle variation of the flex in their eyes. As I watched, I was approached. I think he'd run away. I hurried away. I hurried away from them, not wanting one of those blank eyes to turn my way. 
They did not follow me, of course. I strolled back along the avenues, watching the city pass with new eyes. Under its gilded and manicured beauty lurked something sharper and more bloodthirsty. Vienna was at once the city of music and the city of war. Our character's now sharp. What does that mean? I don't know. A sharp what, eyed, well, maybe? In, yeah, that, that, more in terms of, like, what does that mean generally, not rather than in the game. Um, I guess it means, like, yeah, either... <laughs> I'm guessing, like, observant kind of sharp rather than aggressive sharp. Yeah. Um, So I might look... Should we look at the overview? Yeah. Four days and counting. Okay, so it gives you some stats. Nice. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not as easy. It's not quite the same as looking at the map. Oh, you can share it. Okay. So... Um, you were talking to Ben earlier about how this used to be. A, this is a, was a mobile game originally. Um, no, I. Oh, I don't know if it. No, I don't think it was a. Was it originally a mobile game? The or? UI is definitely saying mobile to me. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong then, because I I didn't think I thought it was the other way around, but I was just that's only because I came to it um, via PC, so I assumed it was PC first, and they ported it to to mobile. But I, no, you're right. Like I think you could. The UI definitely works, uh, 100% on a, on a mobile game. I said my response to him was like, like I think you lose a lot of the beauty of the visuals, but maybe they do work on the small screen. Yeah. Um, okay, the market's open. Right. Uh, awesome. do, do, bye, do. bye, 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 bye. <laughs> so that's we're selling that in Bose first. Windscarf, dusty road set. Okay, music box, worth money in uh, um, Antalya. Don't even know where that is. A part of the engineer set and part of the engineer set. I feel like engineer set because, like, maybe oh, we you can are be self-engineer. Okay, cool. Did we come here to sell something? No, uh, we're going to um, Budapest for that. Okay. Okay. That's the market. We can bank or we can depart. What? What's the bank? That's when you take out loans, but we don't need to do that. So we I'm don't need depart. to. No, let's just get out. All right, so. Departs before seven PM. Okay, so yeah, we are. Oh, we're gonna lose a little bit of like health here, but we need to go right. to Budapest. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, but at least it's got case it's room for both our cases. I had to pay extra for the last mm-hmm. for the last journey because we had an extra case. Okay. Okay. We hired an oil-guzzling Bozek to take us along the open road from Vienna to Budapest. The road covered the rail tracks for much of the way. Road, sorry, the road followed the rail tracks for much of the way, but we saw no trains as we chuffed along. So, an observation thinking. about the mm. game: mm-hmm. there's very little empty space. Like, I was about to kind of like start a conversation then because I thought maybe we'd get that kind of a little bit of an animation for the the ride. Mm. But it came straight into here. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. It, it, it's it. I don't know. Like it, it's. I'm not sure if I think that's a good thing or a bad thing. But like we've been talking, I think in a lot of these streams we've been playing games where this this idea of kind of emptiness, which really makes it feel. Yeah. Like this about the the confidence to have that emptiness or that. That gap to give you a sense of a journey, I guess. Well, uh, yes, but it's worth pointing out. Like, maybe it's this bit, like when you just kind of. Okay, is right. This so, the yeah. sense of emptiness or empty space. I mean, it's filling. Don't get me wrong, but you could. You're right. You could use this to converse, uh, in this moment, or, um, feel that empty space. I suppose. Can you? I guess that's different. Yeah. Okay, so we lost nine health points from taking that. Uh, but I'm quickly before the market closes. You can sell the geometry set. Uh, dusty road set worth five thousand in Moscow. Part of the frequent Are we going flyer that set. Way? Uh, heavy storm no, set. No, you can't have a look, right? Is um, no, no. That's quite. This is quite the I challenge. I feel like a compass will become useful at some point. It's part of the go. heavy storm set. So. Oh, we've completed our engineer set, but not the Jensen I, just, I feel trouble. like I can see in the future that we might say, oh, I wish we brought a compass, but I'm not sure it necessarily say, I wish <laughs> we brought a neck cushion. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I guess the question is, like, are we going to be flying a lot? 
in that case then maybe but yeah okay I'll go with you on the compass we sold one thing so we can buy another thing that's fine uh, okay so we have to pop into the hotel because we can't depart so pen pass the night in Budapest what okay. genre is this uh, ooh, okay. I'll, uh, what genre is this? Um, so I suppose it's narrative, an adventure game, um, a narrative it's got adventure. Got that kind of adventure game feel, right? You're yeah. collecting. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're collecting items. Is that the, the loop is collecting items, right? Yes. That's, that's a part of it, but not. Yeah. Yeah, co you're collecting items, you're picking items up at one place and selling them at another for profit. You're making decisions on your... Like, there's an inventory sub-game to this, but then I think, like, uh, you know, the as the overview suggests, there's, there's also the issue of how you travel, where you're going, and by, like, how quickly. Mm -hmm. And, like, by what means you choose to do this. Yeah. And I guess they, they've achieved that thing that we, we were talking about that we want to, to get, which is the possibility space here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is big enough that you're going to want to compare. Presumably, like, there's going to be a, a wide range of how long you took. Yes, and I, I, I mean, obviously it's not a strategy game, but there are presumably set kind of tactics and opening moves. Like, you know, I believe... The, the kind of like the options available in each city stays static yes so in that sense like you know like this is reminding us that we bought the geometry set there like well maybe that's a bad opening move and buying something else and selling it somewhere else is better and it's given you this option right here to share that share your route right yeah yeah, yeah. so they clearly designed that like, that is what they were going for right? yes they wanted people to be sharing their routes and I think that's something we want to lean into as well right yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, you can see here, like, yeah, like it's it's kind of showing you the things that you've done, which I think is really really nice, as well about your character as well. Um, is that what's that? Okay. Uh, interesting. Zoom out. Okay, zoom out. Oh, zooming out lets me see the map. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, like planning a little bit. Oh, we could have bought that because we're probably going to go to Antalya. If we're going to go through sewers. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to go down to, I guess, probably Athens. Maybe Dubrovnik to try and get to sewers. Yeah. Uh, Alexandria of our sewers. Okay. But even like just going from Budapest to Suez, you could do that in like, I don't know how many different ways here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe Istanbul makes more sense than down to Beirut. Well, I guess we need to search and find the train station. How we actually get get there? Yes, right? very That's... true. So, a dusty jacketed Englishman at our hotel recommended a restaurant restaurant called Clemens to Monsieur Fogg. The Magyars make an excellent broth. Magyars? He promised ominous words indeed. I had never really been one for <laughs> broth. <laughs> Broth. <laughs> Never been one for broth. A broth is, in my humble opinion, merely an incomplete consum. <laughs> yeah, that, that fits the guy. At, at best, an inferior boulon. Uh, Monsieur Fogg was set on the matter, however. I was called to force to cause a minor accent with his dress. No, no. I'm going to put my foot down here. Like, um, I concealed my trepidation with yes. professionalism. He's too much of a coward to actually attack Fog. I think. We settled to dinner at Clemens, uh, where our soup arrived in a gleaming silver tureen. My master, a man of impeccably high standards, even remarked upon the tureen's flawless polish. At which point, it exploded! Splattering myself, Monsieur Fogg, and an extremely bewildered waiter in, admittedly delicious, salmon broth. A fellow diner had been struck by the edge of the tureen lid and was bleeding from the temple. Bloody hell. Yeah, bit of drama. You weren't expecting this yeah. from your tureen, were you? Um, <laughs> I, I tried to salvage my shirt. This is, our guy would do that, right? I tried to salvage my shirt with a tablecloth to little avail. It was an irrevocable, grievous loss. 
The head chef had by this time emerged from the kitchen. He pointed towards the wall and began a voluble rant which needed little translation. The broth had splattered the ivory wall in the intricately curved shape of a lily, unmistakably the symbol of the Artificer's Guild. Dun 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 dun! Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I shivered in my shoes. <laughs> I think is uh, where He's we quite, would go yeah. there. I shivered in my shoes. Had the broth been hotter or worse yet, contained anything less well filleted, we might we might have been struck down by this act of political aggression. Our waiter caught my eye and nodded grimly. This is like a would you like to know more kind of moment, isn't it? Yeah. Like how deep do you want to go into the story of this? I think our guy would just want to get out of there, okay. right? Yeah. We made our excuse. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. My stomach made unseemly grumbles as we walked back along the elegantly lit and newly macadamed, uh, macadam, sorry, uh, Andrasy Avenue. It would be unseemly to gloat, but I cannot resist. Or I stayed silent. Would it be unseemly to vote gloat, Sean? Um, hmm. It would, but, like, he would. It would be unseemly to gloat, but I cannot resist. I knew nothing good would come of broth. Funds have gone down a little. Fog has improved. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, hmm. Okay. I thought he'd be pissed off at us for gloating. Uh, so we've got 25 minutes. Do we, we need to explore, don't we, before we can leave anyway? Mm -hmm. um, so it's Belgrade down to Athens via there I took a few hours to explore investigating the various options for how we might continue our journey oh okay fine do we do we don't do we, we've already done the market here haven't we I can't remember yeah that's fine so plan so that's the route we can go for 110 all the way to Athens. Yeah. Let's Arrives do it. Monday. So the next departure leaves tomorrow. To travel this way, I have to stay over the night. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, I think, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah. It's already like. There's not much option, really, is there? Well, and also, like, it's what, 11 a.m.? Yeah. Tomorrow, at 8, it was already 11, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So this is that kind of empty space, right? Is waiting now for this to happen. Yes, which, but we can go, like, we could go to the bank, we could go to the market, or we could just hit hotel. Oh, we'll just spend the time planning, I suppose, is the other thing. Like, from Athens, like, which can... I guess the fact that we know we want to get to sewers, like, the only question then becomes how do you want to trans... You know, get across the southern yeah. Asian continent. And Well, let's have a chat about the game then, while, while we're waiting. Um, okay. I think maybe let's get to Suez as, like, a, 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 a good ending point. Sure. Um, so, yeah, what what, like... Yeah, there's just I feel like I wasn't prepared for the amount of stuff that just has been thrown at me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I suppose thrown at me because I'm watching rather than playing. Um, mm -hmm. This was not what I was expecting at all. Okay. Well, that's really really interesting. So, you were just expecting like the equivalent of a book and it, just a lot of story and because I suppose that's what I emphasised when we were yeah. talking about it. Um, and I guess I did that as well for this stream as well because. I just I get you for someone who doesn't know anything about this game you would need I think need to prep people not to expect an FPS an RTS um you know you like this is a narrative led inventory game like is it a roguelike yeah. <laughs> uh no but uh you do have a minor inventory that you are keeping track of and decisions you're making and all that kind of So thing. when you restart the game like have you played this to completion? No, 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 no. In fact, I think I've probably got as far as we have now, but right. just taking a different route. And like, like I played it for about an hour, an hour and a half. Right. It'd be interesting to know what happens. Like, I feel like this is almost built for you to play more than once. Yeah. Well, intro. That's really interesting because what you can't do, like, if I go into the main menu here, is you can't start a new game without completely wiping your other one yeah mm -hmm. so in that sense it's not like you can like you can't 
like save cheat it or whatever that would be save, scam. it, save scamming it or like just set up a bunch of different routes and like try and like race yourself almost <laughs> does that make sense yeah. uh so in that way they kind of lock that down which i can't kind of, that's kind of interesting i think yeah um like the decision to do that but um mm. yeah i appreciate it. it's quite it's quite different it's quite different to perhaps what the fact that it's different to what you're expecting i think is kind of interesting yeah and like what time we, is that train oh it's tomorrow morning okay <laughs> yeah you worried about missing the train that's well, not I, really, it's not good for people who are concerned about missing the train <laughs> but i i will take the hotel so that we you know but you by all means yeah. keep talking about like the game design yeah um Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's a get. It's mm -hmm. interesting, right? Mm -hmm. um, with what remainder of the day, I think I attended to Monsieur Fogg. Okay, intended to Monsieur um, Fogg, ensuring he was comfortable for the night. So then you, yeah. Okay. There's lots of systems and numbers to manage, right? Yeah, you've got the There's money, like the health, money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. And then your inventory, yeah. and the, the and inventory. also the, the time, like the time's mm -hmm. obviously clicking along. Um, it's very directly doing it, right? So, so this is. There's okay. So th there's an interesting thing about like, real time versus turn based. Yeah. Which this is like somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. Like that mm -hmm. first time that you saw the clock was going down while you were making decisions, that that suddenly made it feel like a real time game. Yeah. But also, really, it's turn based. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no that um, Yes, there are only points where that clock feels like it matters at all. Yeah. Um but it's a really not I think it's a really nice mechanic to give you that sense of urgency without actually having it be too brutal. Although I think maybe we lost a whole night because yeah. we just didn't get get gone at the right time, so Yeah. And I, I imagine you could, if you went to the bank or you went to the market now, instead of departing like we're going to, we could l miss another train to Athens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure we don't do that. Yeah, let's, let's get going to Athens. Oh, so that changed to depart then. Yeah. Rather than plan. So yeah, it becomes, yeah, that changes to depart and this, the yeah. route becomes yellow rather than, um, I think it was a different yeah. shade of red. Mm-hmm. Today we turned south. The Orient Express Company ran a spur line from Budapest that swept down the length of Europe to Athens. It originally stopped midway at Belgrade. Ooh. But since that city's almost total destruction in the last confrontation between the Austro-Hungarians and the Ottomans, the train now went straight through. See, that's interesting because that's not a de character decision necessarily. That's more of a story decision, right? Yeah. And it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Such destruction. It had, it was to be hoped, taught the powers that be a lesson about tolerance. Kind of interesting. So we can converse now. Like, I've I, like so this is the guard... I ask her about Athens. I knew a woman who wanted to travel the Aegean Ferry from Athens. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to start hitting these up to get the route right. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to Athens to Dubai? Uh, let's just say so that some buyers will pay well for woolen cloaks in Dubai. Now tell me, I think you, I suppose you think standards are worse than. Hmm. Sorry, uh, I skipped that. Let's just say that some buyers will pay well for woolen cloaks from Dubai. Now, tell me, I suppose you think standards are worse on this section of the Orient Express? Yes or not at all? Uh, yes, definitely. Yes. It's true, we cannot keep staff. They leave to join the airship crews. Interesting. Uh, we do want to go to Alexandria, so... Did you know you can pick up Egyptian carved scarabs in Alexandria that will sell for a fortune in Dubai? Hmm. Okay. So are these just things you have to remember? These aren't necessarily unlocking things. They didn't seem to unlock. Oh no, there you go. So it's kind of unlocked that okay. route. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if asking more questions unlocks more routes. Yeah. 
Despite knowing what to expect it, uh, I could not help but gasp as we swept through the empty husk of Belgrade. It seemed some it seemed home to only it seemed home only to ghosts. It was perfectly preserved. Yeah. It was a it was like a perfectly preserved museum exhibit. To all appearances, one might believe there had never been people here at all. Quite what had happened, no one truly knew. The roads, houses, viaducts were all still standing. The gas lamps still burned, but not a single voice cried out and not a door or shutter moved. God, blimey, this is taking a bit of a dark turn, hasn't it? Do we want to know what Fog thinks about this? Um, I did not. Well, yeah. I... <laughs> you didn't care. <laughs> I asked Monsieur Fogg his thoughts and he sighed. I fear that our age is seeing a great experimentation in warfare, much as in every other walk of life. I fear so. I fear so, definitely. Indeed, he replied, but at least the trains move faster. God, wow. Uh, at least the trains move faster. His answer seemed to me as bleak as Belgrade itself. Yeah, quite. But as the Orient Express left it behind, it carried us towards a long evening of gentle wines and candlelight. I, th I think he likes wine. Does he like wine? I guy? Think right. Yeah. Which went some way towards lightening the soul. Okay. What's the news? Ah, okay. So you can just, like, read the news as you pass the time. Except it's paused, right? Oh, yeah. And it was just a headline. <laughs> uh... So do you know how to say this? <laughs> we arrived at no. Thessaloniki station in northern Greece in the morning. A few passengers disembarked. Oh, we can stay put. Do we want to stay put? Um, we never yeah. stay put. No, no. well, mm. oh yeah, we stay. We we we're not going to disembark. No, but we stayed put, intending to reach Athens and then take one of the many sea routes into <laughs> Turkey or Egypt. The journey to Athens took the rest of the day. I think the gauge of the, the rails grew narrower as it negotiated the winding cliff sides of Greece. This country appears to be entirely made of coastline. It is a, a wonder. wonder. <laughs> I think we're both on the same page with this guy now. It is a wonder there are any buildings here at all. Still, we were well catered for, of course, and arrived feeling most refreshed. I wonder if like people ever get this really low for just whatever reason just what well because like we seem to be anyway market time uh elastic wallet part of the urban worth something in high valuable in three places part of the russia russian gentleman's water we don't want that oh um, we've lost our shirts where did our shirts go well, do we? Oh, because we had to use it because when the oh, explosion. Oh yeah, that's how. Okay, yeah. right. So the time has stopped at seven p.m. We want that's the fine. engine oil, right? What kind of engine oil? We do Dave, because because you asked, Dave. Yeah. Thessaloniki. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> I I truly hope the viewers got that at home. Um. So, uh, well, the thing is, we're kind of out of suitcase space. Okay. We got, why are we? We got three. Oh no, we can't take. How? Because this is only. You only have two suitcases, but then you just pay for the extra suitcase. You can pay for the extra, but then you have to pay more when you board on stuff. Um. Yeah. Let's just do it. I think we need. We want. Yeah. Come on. Like we've got three thousand seven hundred quid. So you want extra suitcase and an engine? You want the oil? Yeah. Okay. Wow. You can have four. Uh. So what about? I mean, like. Okay. So we can. We can get to where is Hail Ha'il Ha'il. We're probably not going. No, we're going where down the sewers. Yeah, we're going down the sewers. So yeah, okay, cool. Oh god! So if you leave it, you do leave it. So that, that's that then. Oh, so pretty saying. Okay, tomorrow before seven p.m. That's when we're going to get the GM ferry. Okay, so we're going to spend the night here. 
My master was not, as a rule, particularly interested in the fabulous locales and exotic cities we journeyed through. Athen was the exception that proved the rule. His sudden interest was not limited to the city. He fixed me with a look. Do you speak Greek? Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but we have got Wikipedia, so we can... Yeah, that, right? yeah, yes, that's true. I'd spent a glorious summer with a Greek contortionist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I didn't do that. Um, I did, though I not go into the circumstances of how exactly I came to learn the tongue here. My oui, monsieur, I smiled sharply. Or not really, I hedged. That guy's a hedger. Not really, I hedged. I was not certain, entirely certain Monsieur Fogg would approve of my rather specialised vocabulary. Ah, oui, oui nor my particular methods of language acquisition. Despite my master's grasp of ancient Greek, the demotic variant more commonly smoked on the streets eluded him. We were reduced to... Um, random wanderings or mimes? I think wandering. Wandering. Wandering at random. Until by chance we stumbled on the site of the Acro Acropolis. Right. Hmm. Parthenon or checking his watch. Um, I think checking watch discreetly. I check my watch discreetly. Ruins from the past held no attraction for me. Classic scientist, Sean. Um, especially when a decent night's sleep hung in the balance. As we stood admiring the architecture, I was rudely knocked into by a small man with thick glasses. Um wallet hand uh, my, yeah definitely the wallet hand that's, that's our guy to a T my hand flew to my wallet to ensure it was still there but it was the man blushed red at my gesture my apologies my apologies he's murmured I, I left it at that I left it at that the man apologised again and then quickly wobbled away a man with sea legs I observed Monsieur Fogg shook his head sadly in which case Passepartout you should have asked him about his boat Character is now sharp. Oh, still sharp. Hmm. Okay, let's depart. So, do you think that would have been a route from Athens to like somewhere else? Maybe. Oh, now we're Although, going on a boat. Yeah, we're going on a boat. I don't on. think. Embark. Yeah. Ooh. Where do we say we're going to get to? Higher extra space. Uh. Uh, sweltering heat and massive. This promised to be a worrisome journey, but the magnetic compass from us should make things easier. There we nice. go. Nice. There we go. How do, how do, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Well, I yeah. For some reason, looking at a compass makes you feel better when you're at sea. Really? I yeah. I would have thought like, like a sick bag or a neck cushion. Neck cushion. Okay, I thought you were saying that actually in real life that was a thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't think so. Uh, we boarded the daily ferry across the Aegean Sea and then. That guy's a shade guy, right? Yeah. Uh, and then stayed below in the, and in the shade, protective of our delicate complexions, as though the Indian sun, sun still to come would not harm them. Yeah, yeah, he's going in the wrong way if he's worried about the sunshine. Um, so. You were asking uh, about how far we want to go, so either we can kind of get to Izmir and call it there. I don't. We we're probably a bit far from Suez. Yeah, I think I think let's get to Izmir. Then we we, okay. we kind of travel on sea. I think we've kind of shown everything. Like, you know, that you've got to you know, the, the, there's the main core of this game. Haven't we? I think so. Yeah, I think you've, you've seen. And we're ten percent to the eighty days here. Yeah, very true. Day very eight. true. Uh, I wonder how far across the globe we are. I don't feel like we're ten percent across it, but getting across Europe is quite a big deal, I suppose. Uh, other passengers milled around, talking loudly and drinking ouzo, chilled by chips of ice carved from blocks in the hold of the ship. Have you ever had ouzo? Yes, I have. Yeah, uh, it's not really my bag. Um, I tend to like things with mixers, to be honest. If we're doing what is ouzo? I've heard of it. And... Um, so it's like a, a liqueur after kind of dinner type liqueur which you right. will like a like a shot um i like limoncello but not um mm -hmm. so yeah like 
in Greece or around that area of the Mediterranean. Doesn't that describe like everything but Lemoncello? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because um, I suppose but, in, like and Lemoncello. But I suppose yeah, like you have it as um, the end of a meal as a dessert or something. Type wine. Wait, when you might have a dessert wine. Maybe like I'm. I, I'd have to double check. Maybe because now that I'm I thinking have dessert wine much or if ever. No, because yeah, it's like um. Some people use that kind of thing as a digestive aid, right? Like, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so like so a shot of espresso. Yeah, Absolutely. but an alcoholic version of it. Mm-hmm. The I, only time I've ever drank dessert wine is when I've drank too much wine with the meal, that then yeah. the, then I can be convinced to buy dessert <laughs> wine. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a massive fan of dessert wine. If I'm honest, it's too far too sweet. But um, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, is our guy, the boat had the air of a market cafe. I kept a close eye on our possessions. Definitely looks at the slimy guy just looking at his possessions. That's, yeah. That I, kept, I kept a close eye on our possessions. This place had the air of a suit that might be teeming with cup purses. Otherwise, I spent my time... Definitely not talking to people. Watching the scenery go by and relaxing. Uh, even a valet must take time off. Quite right. Character is now astute. Uh, at his mirror. Like this val like imagine you're a valet. Okay. Right. Can I imagine myself says, at a market first? Um There's a trouble. Like, Ooh. Yeah. So Sorry, you're a valet. On. And your stuff. boss is like, we're going around the world. Mm-hmm. That feels a bit above and beyond the job description, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I do you think he didn't give us enough time to kind of we're going in the jungle by the way. Uh See, I just don't know why we've got this engineer set anymore or the gentleman traveller set. Okay. Well, we're only 10% around the world, so... I feel like we're being inefficient with our items set. But there we are. Like we're not min-maxing. No. Mm-hmm. The art anyway. is very simple, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. and um, But it, I think it's got a strong aesthetic, hasn't it? Like, mm. And it, it looks good. It looks good, but you're right. It is a simple... And so, the animation God. is handled very simply like i think we've been talking a bit about animation and how we might do that for yeah. our next game and actually just like it's just as you're saying the simple sense of movement rather than necessarily strong animation yeah i think that's it because the, the actual things aren't themselves animated they're just translated mm-hmm. to give it the mm-hmm. effect of animation and yes. um, some very clever ui like you know, well designed UI. Yes, it is a well designed yeah. UI. I think that's definitely yeah. true. Definitely mm-hmm. true. Cool. Okay. Well that's a awesome. good place to stop. So ten yeah. percent round the world in in uh, an hour and twenty minutes. It's not mm-hmm. too bad. Um also so, longer than I expected. So that that's an interesting point, isn't it? The mm-hmm, length mm-hmm. we've been thinking about that ourselves, like what is the right length of a game like this? Yeah. Where you'd want to restart it, because like an hour and you know, we've we, we, an hour and a half to get 10%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To me, that doesn't feel like, at least in my, like, the way I play games, that's not something I would want to repeat. Maybe not immediately. No, I know what you mean. Um, I suppose, I mean, you could make this game play a lot longer by going to more cities along the way. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? But it, But it might not. Would that speed up or slow down? the actual yeah. getting around the world in 80 days mm-hmm. it could be interesting but yeah like how long you want the actual play time to be is possibly variable as well down yeah. to your player decisions um mm-hmm. but yeah i mean i don't know i think people people approach that kind of thing differently to you and i but i think we are very much aware of gamers who are like i can't sink 80 hours into this and then replay it the next week yeah um mm-hmm. But some people might. I mean, it's, it, <clears throat> sometimes we talk about a little bit about value for money as well. And, you know, you can say, well, if you want to play this game a lot, you can. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so that's 80 Days. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed playing along uh, with me and Sean for a bit. I think it's a really useful game for me and Sean to have played and play a little bit more of, perhaps. Uh, in terms of design, we didn't necessarily get a chance to talk too much about design so if we do return to 80 days i think we could pray perhaps have a longer conversation about that maybe um, yeah i think it might be an idea to like 
almost do a um, a video where we just talk about all these games, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just in, from a design point of view, rather than playing them. That's a really good idea. Yeah, that's a really good um, idea. I like that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Yeah, thanks, um, remember like and subscribe on YouTube if that's the platform you're watching on. Give us a follow on Twitter. Um, we are also on Discord um, and Instagram and Facebook. And we also have, importantly, a Patreon page, which is going great guns at the moment. So thank you, everyone, who's already pledging there. And if you don't... Uh, yeah, we got 50% to our first target. That's fantastic. Like, I, I can't believe that, really. Yeah, that was we, really we great. Kind of blown away. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So thanks, everyone. Uh, we will see you um, in, after Christmas. Have a great yeah. Christmas. Christmas jumper. And, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year.